Welcome, my name is Wendy Barlin, and I am the advisor for advisors. And today I have with me Chantal Bonneau, who is a long-term client and friend, and in my experience, an expert on this topic. We wanted to talk about the state of being an advisor today, what that means, what are some of the challenges, what are the upsides, and then what Chantelle can share with you, because she's built her business over the last 10 years, Chantelle? Yeah. About? From the ground up. And she has done so with integrity, putting her clients first. Chantelle does come from a financial background, which definitely helps. But for what I teach my clients and what I hope to bring to you today is some pointers on the changes you can make to redirect your business. So welcome, Chantal. Thank you for coming to share your opinions with us today. Thank you. It's nice to be here. I hear the word coaching and consulting come from you a lot. And I think when I look at the change in the world of being a financial advisor, where the old way was sell, sell, sell. And we've seen over the last certainly short term, a real push towards a new way of doing business. And you've been a forefront and a leader with your teams on this, away from the old school mindset of sell to coach, consult and lead. Is there anything you can share with our advisors who are struggling with this feeling of the old way worked for so many people for so many years. Am I ready to step into this new way of doing things and now coaching and consulting? Is that a mind shift that you had to make? So for me, that was the only um, business I ever wanted to be in was having client relationships where I was advising them on a myriad of things. And not all of those are products, right? Not every part of financial planning results in a product. So Uh, It's not that the old methodology of selling was bad because there was a period of time in which that was really the value add of people in in my profession. Um, But the world has changed. Now we have people, educated people that are great clients, good people with great goals that have tons of student loans or they're struggling to figure out how to buy a house in a marketplace like Los Angeles that's very expensive. They have parents that are aging at the same time as their kids going to very expensive private schools. There's just more complexities today for a lot of people. um, And that forces us to have to have more of a coaching relationship to really guide people through building their financial um, process and expectation. Now, as an advisor, in order to really coach clients and not just find a product and hopefully find people that that works for, You do have to be a student of the business and educate yourself constantly. Um, I have lots of credentials, but I still am taking tests because things are changing in our environment and we have to stay, you know, aware of what those things are and also continually understanding how people feel again, based on market conditions, because consumers react differently when different things are happening. And that's really where they need, where they need the coaching. When it comes to things like investment management, it's been proven that the largest value add an advisor provides on a percentage basis is the behavioral coaching component. It's not picking the right portfolio. It is coaching people to continually contribute and having that accountability and helping them make the right decisions in good and bad markets. And therein lies the other challenge, which is how do you continue to be profitable, which is what I'm all about in coaching with my advisors to run a profitable business because as I have seen many people do as have you in that you can coach and consult for hours and hours and hours to people who either do not have the funds to invest, don't do well with coaching and do not put money in your pocket. And so you've been particularly successful. You've been, you and I have had a lot of conversations about a profitable client where we both know once there is a sign for us that this client is not going to be profitable, we will walk away because all the coaching in the world is not going to put money in your pocket. Do you have any um, shortcut or cheat that you can share with other advisors that helps them know that not all clients are created equal and not all clients are coachable. Ultimately, we are looking for profitable clients. 
Absolutely. And I, that's one of the things I love about the way that you work with people in the financial industry or in any other industry is many people that I know you work with are business owners. So focusing on that profitability is extremely helpful and keeping people focused on that. In addition, obviously, to hopefully their love for what they do. Right. And it is hard sometimes to know what client is going to be profitable. And what's helpful is I do lots of work on a pro bono basis for organizations. Um, but with my clients, that cannot be the case. We do have to be in a business relationship where it is helping them, obviously, and hopefully lots of different ways. And also it is profitable for me so that I'm around in 10 or 15 more years to continue helping them. And that was an important mindset I always had to have was that it's okay for me to be paid well to do great work. And at the end of the day, those are the people who my skill set is best suited for are people that do have means and capacity and most importantly desire to make a real dent on their financial future. So one of the things and one of the changes I made um, later in my practice was I work with some clients on a tactical basis where I help them implement solutions because some people are at that space where they need disability insurance. They need to consolidate IRAs. They really need someone to come in and clean up the things that they need done. And then with other clients, I've added in um, fee-based planning where I actually charge them for time because there's many clients that for whatever reason can't move things to me. The majority of their money is in stock options or RSUs where work needs to be done on that side to help them understand the best choices. They're trying to figure out if they sell a house to buy another one or buy a rental property, or there's a lot of cerebral components to their planning that does not result in a profitable product. And again, those people need help with that. So I've added a model where I can actually just charge for the time and that fiduciary relationship to guide them either in addition to the tactical planning or, um, or instead of it in some cases. So trying to understand what great relationships you really like, why they're not profitable and thinking about a workaround so that you can continue to work with those clients you like, but make sure that it is profitable. Thank you. That is one of our major focuses